Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 18. Thoughts? This episode is called No Regrets. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for everything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So yeah, quite fun. The Patriot knocks over the, the car and, you know, Colts is like, I was thinking more of a busted taillight, but okay. And... Let's see. Yeah, they were not transporting prisoners. They were, you know, it's a, it's body bags. Very clever. You know, later in the episode when they, like, they were hiding in the the body bags. You know, that's the risk you run when you're. You know, that's not the only reason. That's obviously not the main reason, not to you know, execute people, but, yeah, you know, that makes it much easier. If those were just prisoners, it would be significantly tougher for the resistance to, to for the agents to action for S.H.I.E.L.D., to actually sneak past Hydra security near the end of the episode. And, let's see, yeah, uh, Daisy insists... Gemma Simmons is not a subversible. She's incredibly versatile. And, yeah, you know, really strong. Say Again, we're seeing, you know, Fitz, really very hardened person here. And we realize later it's because in, in the framework, he had his father. His father never left. You know, Alistair Fitz. I'm not sure they say Alistair in the episode, but that is on the... Yeah, by process, you know, by deductive reasoning, that must be him, since they share a last name. Um, yeah, but the, you know, Daisy asks, what happened to you, Fitz? You used to be cool. I quite like, Colson is like, what's the deal with this Grant Ward? Every time I look at him, I get hives. I see what you did there, and I'm proud of you. He's right behind me, isn't he? And let's see the yeah. They give May what they gave Cal Johnson. You know the oh, it's just you know various steroids, a little bit of peppermint. Oh, you know, just yeah, wow. But it did not seem to have the same right because it's only the first dose. Yeah, Cal didn't turn into Mister Hyde. On day one, that was after many doses, I guess, or or a long time that it worked in the system, something like that. A team that trusts is a team that triumphs. I don't know. That sounds kind of cheesy. Is it bad if I prefer this mace to the to the you know real world one? And yeah, Simmons tells Mace. Everything. Admits she doesn't have proof, but says she doesn't need it. He takes it rather well. And I, I quite appreciate, you know, a, a lesser show would put off this revelation. Like, she would just keep, like, not revealing it forever and ever and ever. But it's more interesting, you know, later in the episode, Ward is like, I thought these were fake people. Why are you getting emotional over Mac and Hope? If you know, if Hope isn't real, and yeah, Ophelia sends Fitz away again. It's such a dark joke when the Holden yells from the from the adjoining cell. You know, this wasn't what I wanted. Uh, you know, and it insults her. Guard? Bzzzt. Just, holy crap. And Ophelia offers Daisy bringing back Lincoln. You know, and at the time it seems like, can, can she really do that? But, you know, by the end of the episode we realize Trip is in the, the framework, which... So, so yeah, you know, evidently she, she can. I think the idea is supposed to be that Trip is based on 
the memories some of the others plugged in had of him and that's how he was constructed because obviously in the real world he did not have his memory uploaded the, the you know had had Radcliffe even invented the technology at the time I don't think so so <clears throat> and yeah Gemma does of course get emotional at seeing hope and Mac together and Hope takes a page out of Angie's book, Hi British. And yeah, really great how like you know, we see Alistair and it's like there's something about the way he talks to Fitz. It's very it's very familiar if they're just like working together. You know, and and then, you know, he says, it's a bit early for a pint. How about a cup of tea, son? And it's like, of course, you know, that was the one regret. Fitz's one regret, Leo Fitz's one regret, is not, you know, having his father for all those years. And, yeah, really, really clever. And that does, you know, a lot of people are the way they are because of, the people who influenced them when they were very impressionable. <laughs> Bakshi news, love it. And a according to the, you know, I, I the the IMDb page for the next episode actually has a picture of Bakshi as the like cover photo. So we're actually gonna see. I I'm really looking forward to that. Should be able to do that tomorrow. And <laughs> are you crying? No, I'm laughing with joy. And you know, yeah, he points out, you know, just a few words, you know, one sentence can change everything, can change a person fundamentally. And yeah, you know, Alistair talks to, to Leo. And it's like, okay, so the problem's a woman. You're saying it's not, you know, you're not, like, with a, with someone other than Ophelia. Which I quite appreciate, because at, at the very end of the, um, a couple of episodes ago, you know, when Daisy and Gemma entered the framework, we saw several flashes. We saw Leo hold hands with someone. We didn't see who, but, yeah, that was obviously Ophelia. They didn't want to give away that she was Madame Hydra yet. <clears throat> but, but yeah, you know, okay, so it's not, it's not, you're saying the problem's a woman, it's on Ophelia, it's not that you're cheating on Ophelia, then, you know, what's the problem? And, you know, Leo says, well, you know, I, I executed a woman. Well, you know, well, um, yeah, did, did you need to? N not really, uh. Was she an enemy of the state? I, I believe so. Then what's the problem? You know, just holy crap. And yeah, you see where he gets it. Like, that's wow. And the, yeah, and, and you know, um, they talk, you know, he says, sympathy, that's your mother talking. You know, and, and it is very much, like, Alistair is this old-fashioned, you know, guy, and there are a lot of people very much like him. They wouldn't necessarily support fascism so openly, but, you know, that, yeah, fascists obviously feel emboldened to support fascism openly during a fascist rule. But, yeah, you know, he has a line about everyone deserve you know, or needs, something like that. Everyone... You know, a good 30 lashes over the back every so often. It builds character, you know. And, like, you get the sense that it's it's not just, oh, he wants to, to hit Leo, and, and almost definitely did. He was hit, and he just, you know, that doesn't make it okay. But this is just how he views the world. He thinks that sympathy is something you need beaten out of you. And, you know, I, I appreciate the complexity of the character. Disposal, that's not very nice. 
you know, you Hydra really should have more respect for the living, for the dead. Not to mention the living. Very nicely done. And yeah, Trip appears in the episode. Like when when the episode opens, we see the the oh, you know, the the credits for for yeah, actors and such. And yeah, it said B J Britt, and I was like. Really, like I, you know, but but yeah, once once we saw him and and he's clearly, you know, he's still like got the thing about you know oh my what was it grandpa was a howling commando I got some of his tech you know that was maybe one of Coulson's memories so yeah very <laughs> really glad to see him again I'm really gonna miss him when the framework story it's, you know I'm fairly confident the framework story is not going to make up the entire rest of this show's run. There's, what, three more seasons? Five, six, seven, yeah. Everyone on the bus. Very nicely done. <clears throat> and, yeah, uh, May gets the injection, and it's only, you know, there's one hour of strength in this. And, yeah, we, we get the detail about, you know, the history books don't talk about some of the the worst things you know the, the, let's see what did they say trail of tears and the holocaust martin luther king jr yeah they're talking about actual you know that that's not purely a trump thing but it was something that also you know it's it started before trump let's not pretend like trump was the start of you know american conservatives trying to destroy democracy the the but yeah, it was something that took place under him as well, and yeah, he was you know perfectly happy to. He's he himself is painfully ignorant, and yeah, you know if you don't know these things, you know yeah, how are you supposed to fight back if you don't know about some of the worst things, some some of the things that should motivate you to fight. <clears throat> And yeah, great scene between Grant and, and Gemma where, you know, he points out, doesn't that make it real? And let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, and the, yeah, the, the, um, Colson realizes, you know, there's there's kids at this place, and yeah, you can really understand how he can't, he cannot, you know, he he feels like he let down, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like he could have done a lot for Chris once the the Hydra person is in the the classroom already but yeah he feels guilty and we also see you know Burnell in there which yeah he wasn't the best at keeping a low profile you know he's going around tagging Hydra vehicles so yeah he ended up in there as well and um, let's see. Then we have the yeah really really cool fight between Mace and May, and some some really choice words where he you know he says are you one of us now, and that thing about you know the you know she she says you're a terrorist a thug if that were true you'd be dead now right now, and yeah we see the reeducation with the you know it's not quite the the uh, what's it called. Um, Ludovic, Ludovico technique, but it's, you know, in that ballpark, and just, yeah, really, really horrifying. Fire on the facility, just holy crap. And Mace actually does the thing that he was thought to be doing on purpose in Vienna. You know, he dives in to protect someone. And let's see the <clears throat> yeah, and the you know he's saving kid a kid, 
So was I. Holy crap. But ultimately, she does... Yeah. She ends up siding with them. And Mace dies in both the framework and the real world, raising the stakes. We already knew that this was an op a possibility, a risk. But now we're actually seeing it. And I gotta say, I did not expect, like, yeah. The, the show... Not always, but sometimes it's capable of, of actually killing off characters that you expected to, you know. I guess we're, yeah. The show exchanged Mace for Trip. Although, again, Trip is not gonna. There's, there's no way to get him out of the, the framework, sadly. I, I don't think. Anyway. And, yeah, then the, the post credit scene, you know, May walks up to, to Daisy. Is it true you, you, you're, you're an inhuman? I could bring this whole building down. I hope so. And smashes it, you know, smile on, on Daisy's face. Terogenesis, you know, the, the what's it called? Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the cocoon thing. Yeah, really, really looking forward to to seeing the the holy crap. Yeah. Um so some IMDb trivia. Uh let's see. Phil Colson has given a Hydra ID with the name Jamie Flugelman, the Merriam Webster dictionary defines the last name as a trained soldier. One, a trained soldier formerly posted in front of a line of soldiers at drill to serve as a model in their exercises. Two, one at the head or forefront of a group or movement. During the commercials before the credits of the episode, an advertising of L'Oreal Hydra Genius Liquid Care. A blue liquid soap was aired. Beautiful. And let's see... The plaque that Agent May reads at Hydra headquarters says, In remembrance of the 279 innocent souls who lost their lives in the Cambridge incident. While they perished at the hands of evil, the fight for justice will go on forever in their names. Adam Kulbersh returns as Hydra lab tech Kenneth Turgeon, who previously appeared in Making Friends and Influencing People and Hen in the Wolf House as a co-worker of Gemma's while she was undercover at Hydra. Very cool. When Fitz is telling Madame Hydra that Daisy will not give up her story, he uses the phrase, nevertheless, she persisted. This was a common phrase yours during the marches of early 2017 to push back on the hindering of women's rights, originating as an admonishment of Senator Elizabeth Warren by Senator Mitch McConnell for speaking on the Senate floor. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, did not catch that one, but yeah, excellent. And that's, you know, that's only gotten worse in the years since, so a fight that very much needs to be kept up. Right, and David O'Hara, who plays Fitz's father, played a character named Mr. X in a movie about assassins with superhuman-like powers in Wanted. And Wanted also stars actors from two other Marvel franchises, James McAvoy and Chris Pratt. And, yeah, uh, the composition of the super serum used by Melinda May in the framework is the same as the one used by Calvin Zabo in the real world to get his super strength. The improvised version of the same serum was used in Project Patriot, which gave Jeffrey Mace his powers in the real world. And... Let's see... I, I quite appreciate the the you know a lot of the time we're laughing at Radcliffe or like shaking our head at him but yeah him like distraught over losing Agnes like I you know they make a couple of jokes like here you know in this episode he's like ah oh, everything tastes like tofu and you know the the yeah you know the one I mentioned earlier where he he shouts from the adjoining cell and then gets, you know, yeah, punished with electricity, but yeah, you know, he is distraught over losing Agnes. You know, he knows that she is 100% dead now. She'll never 
be back. She, you know, she perished in the real world already, and and you know, it's it's really devastated him. He, you know, I I quite appreciate. You know, I some characters it's fine for them to just be like either comedic relief or or that sort of thing. But I always appreciate when you take a character like that and actually have some depth there, because clearly he did care about her. You know, which I will admit, the first time that we heard that, oh, you know, Ada, the her physical appearance was based on another person. I didn't really think that Radcliffe actually cared about Agnes, but. You know when you you had the the conversation. You know he calls her on the phone, and yeah, the things he says like clearly he does care. He he's sorry about how you know how things ended, and yeah. And let's see the. Um, uh, Right, the the yeah. Um, I already mentioned the the them talking about the the history books. A couple more choice words that you know from that. Hydra had a plan. I'll give him that. Scare everyone, take over the media, rewrite history. You know, and yeah, again, that is like the there's that is what the conservative movement in America have already also done you know no, notice how like for a while they'll talk about a certain thing that they know will scare the voters and then after a while they'll just stop talking about it and move on to a different thing that they figure will scare voters you know did they like I, I want to say the the caravan was one of those things like once you know they kept talking about it leading up to the election then there was an election. They didn't need to talk about the caravan anymore, so they just stopped. You know, I I guess it just poofed it back out of existence. You know, it, like refugees coming to America happens, but the most of what was said by about the caravan, most of what I heard, at least, I, I it's possible I didn't hear absolutely everything, but most of what I heard conservatives say about the caravan was just not true. It was. And some of it was like blatantly, obviously ridiculous. That's another thing. The the um, I don't think I gave them quite enough credit. The you know in the episode before this one, there's all these refugees. That was another thing that you know a a big issue that uh, the the um, what's the word you know um yeah America. You know, dealing with, you know, because obvious, like that. That is a thing that, you know, there needs to be done something to fix how America receives refugees, because right now a lot of them are allowed to to suffer, even die, and you know, yeah, some are put in in camps and such. Like it's. It's real Nazi stuff. So, yeah, really appreciate the, the show taking a stand and saying, no, refugees are innocent and we should be taking care of them. And let's see. Yeah, I quite like Radcliffe's line, you know, one sentence can change everything. One single sentence, like I love you, or we're having a baby, or she's gone.